aiming for peaceful transformation of the Uganda society. In a prosperous future, the land sector has a very crucial role as outlined in the Uganda Vision 2040. We congratulate the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development for the achievements, the progress made in the implementation of the national land policy and coming with that, its contribution to the third national development plan. The Ugandan German Corporation, with all its partners, has a long-standing experience in the sector of rural development. With our contribution to the field of land management, we are creating the preconditions for improved livelihoods, income and productivity. German Corporation is contributing to a number of initiatives in Uganda, which particularly support the promotion of access to land and ultimately the objective of our core topic, one world, no hunger. We are committed to supporting our partners in the implementation of their policies for a fair access to natural resources and responsible investment in land. Like in all sectors, also the mainstreaming of measures to increase adaptive capacities is, is essential in order to prepare vulnerable communities for future impact of climate change. I think this is a very important topic which is um, uh, daily needed to be discussed uh, in the future. It will, climate change is also coming to Uganda, unfortunately. We need to highlight, highlight also our engagement with civil society actors such as Transparency International and the Landesa rights, Lands Rights Charity and the already mentioned Ukubak, which will coordinate the Stand for Her Land campaign in 2022-23 to empower women to close the gap in land access. Ladies and gentlemen, the Eco Project objective is to improve access to land in central Uganda as a precondition for poverty and hunger reduction, especially for women and other marginalized groups. It was launched on the 14th of April 2017 and within the past five years, the project has developed mechanisms between landlords and tenants on private Milo land, which have directly contributed to more transparency on both ends and less conflict. But even more so in partnership with the Ministry of Lands and um, actors from civil society and the academia, my career, the process for issuing the first ever certificates of occupancy could be piloted successfully. It is for this achievement that we will witness today the handing over of these certificates as a milestone in the implementation of the national land policy. Let me thank all who contributed actively to these important achievements and successes. And I'm sorry that um, I, I'm not able to mention each and every one, but there are many on all levels of society, of, of administration, and of all walks uh, of life. This is really a big team effort. Team effort is also the key word when it comes uh, to donor cooperation. Uh, Carolina mentioned it uh, already. In all this, Germany is a devoted partner in the Team Europe initiative, so we're working very closely together on these important projects, and we're contributing by this to a harmonized approach from the donor side. Looking ahead, we will need to discuss the issue of sustainability and scaling of successful experience like this at both the policy and development partner level. With the GIZ, we have a strong implementing agency for both, the German Ministry of Cooperation, BMZ, and the European Union alike in the field of technical cooperation. We are therefore looking forward to a second phase of this EGO project to which the BMZ has already earmarked a co-financing contribution of roughly 1.3 million euros. We hope to see the stakeholders for the follow-up activities to capitalize on the achievements from the first phase soon.